Hey everybody, this is James Lindsay, and you are listening to another exciting episode of New Discourses Bullets, where I give a short bullet point-like summary of a single topic from woke Marxism or relevant to beating woke Marxism that we need to know so we can beat it. And actually, this episode is a category of the latter. We're going to talk about something that's not specifically woke, uh, and not one of their concepts for me to help clarify for you, but something you need to be able to do in order to beat it. And I want to, I don't normally ask you to do a full-blown perspective shift, but I'm asking you to do a full-blown perspective shift in this podcast. Normally, I'm trying to inform you. I want you to see things more clearly. I want you to, you know, have the the communist rhetoric and, and activity demystified. I want you to understand the world in front of you and then let you tackle what you understand as best you can. I'm not really a big hands-on guy for what people should do, right? And I'm not exactly a good boss or a tyrant or whatever. But I'm going to ask you to try to reconsider something because partly, well, just let's be honest, I'm a small person. I'm frustrated as hell seeing it and it's it's irritating me and I don't want to see it anymore. Like So there's the small personal reason that really has gotten under my skin and irritated me. But the bigger reason is because if we don't have this perspective shift, um, we're fighting the wrong things and we're spinning our wheels and we're demoralizing ourselves constantly day in and day out. And the thing I want you to understand is that woke actually makes sense. I know it doesn't work, but the logic internally is mostly sensible and comprehensible. In other words, woke people, even if they haven't studied woke theory, generally know how to act woke and will behave in a consistently woke way and that the people that are either orchestrating their behaviors or even sometimes they themselves understand what they're doing and you say but when they implement their programs it makes education worse it makes the kids they can't read it makes everything fail this is insane sick of hearing it guys it's not insane it's evil you need to get straightened out on this you need to stop saying that woke is insane or that it doesn't make sense you don't understand their worldview. You don't understand that the destruction is often intentional. Not only is their destruction intentional because it causes the kinds of problems that they can exploit, the destruction is often intentional just because they want to break things. Specifically, and this is extremely clear if you read the history of Soviet Union, uh, the goal is to, liter- or even Mao's China, is to actually to destroy everything that's in the way of implementing uh, socialism. Everything that exists deserves to perish is literally from the the mouth of Satan uh, in Goethe's play um, Faust, technically Mephistopheles, but he's speaking on behalf of Satan. That was literally a motto of Marx. It was an inspiration to the communist program. Everything that exists deserves to perish. This is where you see Herbert Marcuse in the 1960s talking about how his uh, his mold of Marxism for the West, his radicalism that we call the new left, which has defined a lot of activism throughout the second half of the 20th century for leftists, is antinomian in character. He says that explicitly. He says it's actually more than antinomian. It adopts clownish forms that irritate the establishment. What does antinomian mean? Well, nomian refers to according to the law. We could say so even the law of nature or nat- natural law. Antinomian means deliberately bucking the order of the system. And so they are intentionally that. They are breaking things on purpose. It's not insane. It's evil. That's not the same thing. Because something doesn't work doesn't make it insane unless you're judging it against a standard of it's supposed to work. And when I say work, you could say, well, what do you mean by work, James? Well, here's what I mean by work. Work means uh, for for us to successfully implement implement a program. So if it's going to be a program, let's say, for literacy and education, you would expect children to learn how to read and literacy scores to improve. That's working, right? And that's what you're thinking. For them, working means advancing socialism or creating conditions in which they can advance their grab for power to advance socialism later. So making kids unable to read but politically radicalized and angry using their reading lesson as an excuse to talk about politics instead, which is what critical pedagogy does, works. Do you see what I'm saying about a perspective shift? For them, it works. 
what they're doing works. It's completely screwing up our society. It's completely screwing up our kids. It's completely breaking our economy. It works. It also continually allows them to lock in more and more and more power. It works. The concept of working in socialism is implementing more socialism. It is deliberately destructive. So when you're sitting here saying, oh, it doesn't work. Why would they do that? It's insane. Maybe you need a shift in your perspective and understand that that's the point. Herbert Marcuse, who I mentioned before in that same essay, which is the essay on liberation that he wrote in 1969, says that the purpose of his revolt is a revolt not just against the, the totality of a well-functioning, prosperous society. It is that, but not just that. It's also a revolt against its very form, with a capital F, referring to the platonic ideal of a functioning society that generates prosperity. That is what they are rebelling against. And when you say, that's insane, only if you accept the goal being that we're going to have a well-functioning, prosperous society. If you abandon that, as have they, or Mar Marcuse's word for it was refuse, we're going to have a great refusal of the very form of the existing society. If you refuse the idea, the very idea of a well-functioning, prosperous society, it's not that it doesn't work. It's not that it's insane. It's that it is a targeted destruction. And Marcuse was clear about why you would do that. Because you have to transform people deeply at the level of their needs, to need socialism. And so it works to do that. It makes people increasingly destabilized, increasingly radical, increasingly dependent, and it works very well to achieve that. So your definition of works is wrong to understand woke. And so you're running around saying, this is insane. This is madness. This is out of control. This doesn't make sense. You can't understand that it makes sense until you understand that its purposes are vastly different than the ones you adopt. So you need to take a step back. This is a huge perspective shift, and it changes how you understand. This is why people come with their hair on fire to me and tell me about this insane stuff. And some people, you know, I've had this argument with them for two, three years consistently, sometimes every week. Guys, it's not insane. But people come to me with their hair on fire saying, this is just insane. I can't believe it. Oh, my God, this is crazy. And I have no real interest or so I don't react to their emotions because I'm not surprised. Of course, of course, they're doing that. It's not even crazy if you understand their logic. It's exactly what they would do. It's not only not crazy, it's completely predictable. And it does make perfect sense once you realize that their objectives are not to make a well-functioning prosperous society, but rather to refuse and reject such a thing in the very concept. So you need to take a step back and realize this all does make sense just for a very different purpose, which is to affect a cultural revolution. They are wanting to have a full system, or really as the technical word would be, a meta system change for not just our financial and economic system, as old communists would do, but also for our entire social and cultural system. They want a whole new world order, and they have to break the existing order to get that. Meanwhile, grabbing power. If you actually pay attention, virtually everything they do falls in line with those objectives. It creates chaos. It creates conflict because they believe that history moves in the space of, of chaos, and they believe that history moves through the generation and resolution of conflict. Why would you bring in all these migrants and have such a huge deal where there's so much conflict and stress on your, on your community, and then have AOC sit there and say that it's actually a really good thing and you need more of it? Just like during the riots of 2020 when she said that change is supposed to be uncomfortable. It isn't meant to work in the sense of creating a functional, prosperous society, or in institution or program or city or community. It's meant to work in some other way, in this case to bring in both destruction, financial and cultural or societal, um, making city life dangerous and ridiculous and unfair. And it's also meant to create that conflict, that line of division, immigrants versus versus citizens, and create a line of division, which they're going to use to try to drive policy and drive history uh, forward. And it works. They are using a fundamentally different logic with a fundamentally different set of goals. They are to use the technical term, dialectical operators. And you probably, as an everyday person, 
are not. So you look at it and think it's insane, and I look at it and think it's diabolical, but utterly predictable. And that's a completely different and very grounding shift. It also motivates you differently. What do you do to fight against crazy people? Well, who knows? You never know what's going to happen next. What do you do to fight against evil people? Well, that means you have to say no more, and you have to draw lines, and you have to big build boundaries, and you have to stand for and assert and seek goodness and truth and beauty and push those forward into the world. So I need you to stop thinking woke is insane and start thinking that woke makes sense for different and diabolical purposes.